absolutely mesmerised by the Olympic Games ever since I was a young kid and I just couldn't remember, you know, being 10 years old, 8 years old, watching the Olympic Games, waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I had pictures of Olympians on my wall. Um, I feel, I felt compelled and destined to be a world-class Australian athlete so I had to really search hard for the sport that was really suited towards my physiology. And it wasn't until 2007 when I was a physiotherapist, after I'd done all my university degrees, studied everything, um, you know, worked my way up in my career and I was working with some of Australia's best athletes in the rowing, uh, rowing Australia and AIS, that uh, that was really the catalyst for me to, to make a um, pretty dramatic life change and put all my all my eggs in that basket and throw the kitchen sink at it and uh, moved from Sydney to Adelaide to take up cycling. The last 12 months has been an absolute game changer for my career. I won my first um, big race uh, 12 months ago at the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. Uh, I was second at Nationals last year um, and I had a, a, a great um, European season. I won my first ever European UCI road race and had a fantastic World Championships. Um, I also signed with Orica AIS, which is the Australian professional women's road cycling team. Um, so basically I have all the support, an amazing team to ride with um, and everything I need to, to be on the pathway towards Rio. Next few months are, are full of racing, uh, the tran big transition to Europe where we start our, our, our season, uh, which is all of our competitive UCI, um, basically our professional tour and that will hold a lot of our selection races for the Rio Olympics.